Hello, I want to thank the editorial team of the Endoscopy Journal for this opportunity on behalf of my co-authors. My name is Madhu Desai. Uh, I work as a staff gastroenterology consultant at the Kansas City VA Medical Center in Kansas City, Missouri, United States. Topic of our manuscript is post-endoscopy Barrett's neoplasia or PEBN after a negative index endoscopy, a systematic review and proposal for definitions and performance measures in endoscopy. Now, this is uh, an important area of research in the field of Barrett's esophagus related neoplasia. Several studies uh, have recently shown that <clears throat> there is a high risk of finding neoplasia in patients with Barrett's esophagus on initial endoscopy or the index endoscopy. Despite this knowledge of increasing rates of detection on first endoscopy, we currently do not know the rates of neoplasia after the endoscopy being negative or the negative index endoscopy. Uh, in the colon cancer, this is well defined and recently World Endoscopy Organization has developed uh, definitions for the detected cancers and post colonoscopy colorectal cancer that are extremely useful to measure performance characteristics of the screening program at the institution level or national level. These rates and their contribution towards total neoplasia in Barrett's esophagus has not been defined. Therefore, we performed a systematic review of the literature and examined incidence outcomes of uh, different types of neoplasia in Barrett's esophagus and uh, we are proposing this uh, developed definitions. Using World Endoscopy Organization definitions of post colonoscopy colorectal cancer, we developed similar applicable definitions for Barrett's esophagus related neoplasia as following. The neoplasia, um, which means high grade dysplasia and or esophageal adenocarcinoma detected at index endoscopy and or within first six months from the negative index endoscopy where there was no neoplasia found. This were termed prevalent neoplasia or the detected neoplasia in Barrett's esophagus. Those detected after six months from a negative index endoscopy but before the next prescribed cervelous interval which in case of Barrett's esophagus uh, non-dysplastic Barrett's esophagus is three years. So between six months and three years from the previous negative index endoscopy are defined as interval or post endoscopy Barrett's neoplasia. Now, the neoplasia detected after three years from their index endoscopy were uh, labeled as uh, new uh, neoplasia or incident neoplasia in Barrett's esophagus, similar to post colonoscopy colorectal cancer model. So, we examined incidence rates of different types of uh, neoplasia in Barrett's esophagus and how much they would individually contribute towards the total neoplasia in Barrett's esophagus. So, total neoplasia would be composite uh, number of prevalent neoplasia, uh, interval or post endoscopy Barrett's neoplasia and incident uh, neoplasia in Barrett's esophagus. We found 11 eligible studies with uh, almost uh, 60,000 patients who had at least one endoscopy with Barrett's esophagus. Uh, the pooled incidence rates were 4.5% uh, for prevalent neoplasia, 0.3% for additional neoplasia within first six months, 0.52% um, for post endoscopy Barrett's neoplasia and 1.41% for incident neoplasia. When we look at the entire picture of uh, different types of neoplasia in Barrett's esophagus, at three years from index endoscopy, we see that 97% of neoplasia or total neoplasia in Barrett's esophagus was related to prevalent neoplasia that was either detected at index endoscopy or within six months from the index endoscopy and only 3% were characterized as post endoscopy Barrett's neoplasia. We anticipate that these definitions and rates found in our study will help inform uh, GI endoscopists to track their performance. Uh, it will also help future large-scale multicenter cohort or nationalized prospective studies to validate these rates and examine the related factors similar to post colonoscopy colorectal cancer. Eventually, this should be incorporated into benchmarking parameters to measure overall performance of screening and surveillance uh, programs in Barrett's esophagus. It will also help to measure 
um, how good is the first index endoscopy in Barrett's esophagus patients. To conclude, uh, important message of our study is that neoplasia detected at or within six months uh, of index endoscopy account for majority of the Barrett's neoplasia, uh, more than 90% of it for sure. Post endoscopy, Barrett's neoplasia account for uh, 3% of the cases and can be used for validation in future. This highlights the importance of a high quality index endoscopy in Barrett's esophagus and the need to establish quality benchmarks uh, to measure endoscopist performance. Thank you so much.